Hello everyone, Donna Gray here, your Stamping Up demonstrator from the Northern Rivers area in New South Wales, Australia. I am jumping on to show you this awesome crafting project that I have and hopefully you'll enjoy what I'm up to. So what I thought I would do today is, of course, you're only seeing my desk, you're not seeing my my face and my hair because I haven't done my hair and I haven't got the makeup on, but I wanted to jump on and have a bit of a live crafting session with you today. So once again, my name is Donna Gray. I'm a stamping up demonstrator from the Northern Rivers area in New South Wales, Australia. When you jump on, please say hello. Let me know where you're watching from. Hey Cheryl, how are you going? Let me know where you're watching from and I wanna show you some stunning cards that I have made. So you may see in the heading, it says three stages to crafting. So what I wanted to do is do a little bit of crafting today using this gorgeous Last a Lifetime bundle. And I wanted to show you what it's like to go from the beginner crafter to the casual crafter to the avid crafter. So what I want you to tell me is by the end of this live video, whether you think you're a beginner crafter, whether you think you, you think you're an avid crafter, or whether you think you are um, a casual crafter in the middle. Um, did I get the card you sent me? Not yet, Cheryl. Postage has been very, very slow. So um, I just wanna let you know, if people are posting, I posted things two weeks ago to a place that's only like an hour and a half away from me and they haven't arrived. So um, postage is very, very slow at the moment. So no, I haven't yet, Cheryl, but um, I will show cards when I get cards. I have got a couple of birthday cards so far. My birthday's tomorrow. So I have got a couple of birthday cards so far. I don't have them out here in my craft room with me, but tomorrow I may jump on at some stage and show my birthday cards. So let's get started on this program. So. Last a Lifetime is a gorgeous bundle that's in our mini catalogue at the moment. It lends a lot to, um, to wedding cards and things, but I just wanted to do some really nice congratulations cards because I've got some people in my team that need to have some gorgeous cards sent out to them. So the colour scheme that I've chosen today, I've got Granny Apple Green, I've got Lovely Lipstick and Melon Mambo. My card base is Melon Mambo but I am using Lovely Lipstick in the colouring. So um, I've got both of those ink pads out, ready to go. Okay, so I'm going to grab the kit for my first card. Now, this is what I would call simple stamping, okay? So this is for the person that is beginning and just getting into crafting. They've got minimal supplies, so for this, you need a couple of um, ink pads. I am going to use Stamp and Write markers to color um, one of the stamps, and you'll, uh, sorry, two of the stamps, and you'll understand why. So I've got a card base here, cut at five and three quarters by eight inches, folded in half, and I'm going to burnish that with my bone folder to give me a really good crease. And that gives me a card front size of four inches by five and three quarter inches. I then have a piece of our Granny Apple Green. Now our Granny Apple Green is cut at three and a half inches this way by five and a quarter inches because I wanted to be able to see some of the Melon Mambo in behind my card. So I, I cut it down a little bit smaller so I get a bigger border of my um, Melon Mambo. I then have a piece of Whisper White that I have cut just one eighth of an inch smaller than my Granny Apple Green because I wanted to have a really nice layer. So I'm just going to start with some simple stamping on this Whisper White piece. So I'm actually going to take this single flower and this little flower here out of the stamp set and I'm going to use my Stamp and Write markers. Now, you may say, can I do this with my blends markers? And the answer is no, you shouldn't be doing it with your blends markers because your blends markers will damage your stamps. Your blends markers are alcohol based and, um, and they will also stain your stamps. These are water-based markers. So I'm going to color the stem. Now, if you didn't have the markers, I'm going to tell you another way that you could do this. So I'm just gonna color the stem and the leaf and then I'm going to, with the Melon Mambo, I'm going to color the flower, okay? 
And then I'm going to huff on that. And that moistens the stamp again and I'm going to stamp that down. And this is how we get our multicolored stamped image, okay? Now, the other way that you could do it is if you've got the ink pads, you could use a sponge dauber and you could sponge your ink on with a sponge dauber. So you don't have to have the stamp and write markers. Um, you're able to do it with the sponge dauber. Hello, Cheryl, Michelle, Susan, Nina. Uh, who else have we got? Sherry, Matthew, hello, Jenny, Helen, Amanda. Thank you for joining. Okay, so once again, I'm gonna color that stem and the leaf and I'm then going to color in my flower again I'm then going to huff on it <sighs> hello Mary and I'm then going to stamp another one going that way okay two simple stamps now I'm going to take the smaller flower stamp and I'm actually going to do the same thing with it I just need to clean it because I've been using it with other colored ink okay so i'm going to do the same thing with this little stamp here i'm going to color the leaf with our granny apple green so you can see how easy this is to get multicolored stamped images and i'm going to color the flower with my melon mambo okay then gonna huff on it again and I'm then going to stamp one there, okay? And then I'm gonna do the same thing again so I don't have to clean it because I'm not changing colors or doing anything different. So I'm just gonna keep it the same as what it was, just recolor it again to get some more ink onto that stamp. I do believe that the sponge daubers are easier than our stamp and write markers, but it's totally up to you. <sighs> Huff on it again. And we're going to stamp one flower there. And we're going to do it a third time. We're going to color with our granny apple green. We're going to color with our melon mambo. Now our stamp and write markers, you can buy them in the color families. So you don't actually have to buy the whole marker kit like we used to have to do it. You can actually buy them in the color families. Huff on that again, and one flower there. Hey, Linda. Hey, Rose. How are you? Hey, Mary. Thanks for joining. Um, okay, so now I'm going to, with my lovely lipstick, because I absolutely love the lovely lipstick for the hearts, I'm going to take the smaller, the large and the small heart, and I'm just going to stamp randomly some hearts around just to create a spray of gorgeous hearts on the front of this card. So that was the, the larger heart out of the two. And this is the smaller heart that I'm just going to randomly stamp around to create a really nice spray of little hearts coming out of there. Okay, so we have that. Then I have a tiny little strip of cardstock here that I'm going to use the congratulations step and I'm going to use that with the basic gray. So we're going to, and this is just an off cut piece of my, um, when I'm cutting my layers, I'm just going to get right smack bang in the middle of that layer and stamp congratulations and that's stamping it just in our basic gray. All right. And then I'm just going to line that up on the front of my card because all I'm going to do is line it up here and, and glue it down. So I'm going to take some liquid Tombow and I'm just going to pop a little bit of liquid Tombow on the back and I'm going to pop that straight across my card like that. Now the reason I'm holding it up like this is I don't want to put glue on my desk because I probably didn't judge where that glue was supposed to be. Oh, I didn't do too bad. I was going to say I probably didn't judge where that glue was supposed to be and I probably oozed it out over the edge. And I'm just going to trim it. Okay? Just like that. Then with our liquid Tombow, we're going to take the liquid Tombow and we're going to... Um, 
we're going to glue this layer onto our granny apple green layer so you're going to get that tiny sliver of a border it's 1 16th of an inch border all the way around and then we're just going to pop that onto the front of our card now as I said this one is for the beginner crafter and honestly I think any beginner crafter can make that card it's just some simple stamping okay and then on the insert once again because we need to teach our beginner crafters from the word go so if you're a beginner crafter please let me know we're going to color our stem of our flower in again and the leaf and we're also going to color that flower in with our gorgeous melon mumbo we're going to huff on that and we're going to stamp that just like that on the insert. We're then going to take our lovely lipstick again with our hearts. And this time I think I'm just going to use the small one. And I'm just going to randomly stamp some gorgeous hearts around that flower. So you can see I didn't re-stamp. I just randomly stamped them. Okay? You're going crazy, Matthew. <laughs> you know what crafting is keeping us sane so that's why I'm crafting I've just been crafting the whole time my life hasn't really changed I just keep crafting because that's what I do okay so then with my liquid Tombow I'm just going to pop that onto the insert of my card so there is a card for the beginner that you can get a gorgeous card the bright colors are fantastic and there you have it so stamp inks and card that's it stamps inks and paper that's all we needed to make that card all right um okay so now i'm going to move on to my second card which this is where we're going to step it up a little bit we're getting more into the casual crafter with this one so the casual crafter just means that we've got a few more supplies we're going to add a few more things and that is going to give us the casual look okay so once again i've got my card base cut at five and three quarter inches by eight inches folded in half and use my bone folder to crease that nicely all right and then i've got the same layers again so i've got my granny apple green layer i've got my whisper white layer so this time because we're going to be a casual crafter, we may have decided that we might purchase some of our gorgeous blends to do some colouring. So all I've done is I've purchased just the combo of the lovely lipstick and also the combo of the granny apple green. And I would have got this in a combo, but I'm just going to use the dark smoky slate. All right. So five blends colors and a basic gray ink pad that is all we're going to need to be able to do all the stamping on um this um set now i'm just looking there we are i was gonna say i lost the flower <laughs> okay so on this one what we're actually going to do is i'm going to stamp it with the basic gray so i'm using the flower image i'm stamping with the basic gray and i'm going to stamp one up in that corner up there Okay, so just like that, and one down here. Now you may be saying, am I allowed to use just our everyday ink pads with our blends? And the answer is yes, you are able to use our everyday ink pads with our blends. Our everyday ink pads are water-based, our blends are alcohol-based. The memento that you have been told that you can use with your blends, which is the right thing to use with your blends, all of our colored ink pads are water-based as well. Our memento is water-based as well. Okay, so if you don't want that black, stark look when you're coloring, basic gray or smoky slate is the way to go. All right, so now I'm going to show you a little bit of coloring that I'm going to do here. So first of all, I'm going to take my smoky slate and the middle of my flowers, I'm just going to color with my dark smoky slate. Okay, just in the middle of the flowers, just like that. All right, then I'm going to take my dark, lovely lipstick and I'm going to do a bit of shading. So the way I'm going to do the shading is I'm going to come out from the center of the flower and 
more or less like if you can imagine um, if the flower was on a tilt the bottom side of the flower so you can see here I've come out but I've gone out on the bottom now up here I probably won't do much at all I'm looking at the way the light would look okay so you can imagine we've got a little bit of a highlight there the lights shining down on here you would see that there would be a shadow down towards the bottom of that petal okay so and this one here we're going to do the shadow down this way all right and that's a little bit of intense color talk there for you but I just wanted to let you know because sometimes people say to me I'm not quite sure how I should shade that flower now the beauty of this is I'm going to take the bullet end and I'm going to go over and blend because I like to blend with my bullet end but you'll see something that I do after this that I find just makes my blending a lot better so I'm going over the whole lot now I'm going over the dark where I've put the dark and everything with the light blends and then I'm going to turn it around and where I can see those dark bits I'm just going to go back over with the paint brush end okay and that just gives that better color you'll see more on this um, bigger image so once again I'm going to come out from the center and come out from the center and probably on the bottom part of the the center of that leaf so you can see here I've come out further I would imagine that that is sort of the bottom part of the the petal the way it's showing this probably doesn't have much at all or it could go both ways and then because we're going around on the flower I'm then gonna have this as the bottom part of my shading can you understand what I'm saying can you see how I go out a little bit further on that bottom part because um, the way a petal the way you would look at a petal is the bottom would be the part that would be shaded and up here not much would happen because it's the lights coming down on that all right so I'm gonna do that I'm then gonna go over once again with my light bullet tip right over the whole light I just got a phone call oh <laughs> I was like oh my god it's buzzing please don't tell me that that has cut it off it's on my phone still I may have to come back in again oh my god dearie dearie me okay I'm gonna end it and I'm gonna come back